All right. Now, that's such a great introduction for Chulalongkorn University for the International Undergrad Program. But now, this is the time for our first program, and this one is from the Chemical and Process Engineer Program. This is an inter first international program, so don't miss this great information. And here with us today, we have Dr. Akawat Sirisu. Um, CHPE program director, and he will talk about this wonderful program. Please take it over. สวัสดีครับอาจารย์สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับครับ So uh, today I'm going to talk about the chemical and process engineering program. My name is Akwat, so I'll get right to it. So uh, today I'm going to talk about. I think a lot of people don't know what chemical engineers do. For a living, so I like to introduce you to what is chemical engineering. Then I will talk about the, our program, the curriculum structure, and talk about our facilities a little bit for the part one. Okay, so to start it off, so what is chemical engineering? Chemical engineers we invent and design the process to convert our raw materials into the final products that we would like, and then we transfer it from one point to another. So to start off our process, we begin with our experiment in the laboratory to find out what chemical reactions can convert the raw materials to the final products that we want, and then we scale it up to like a chemical plant size that will produce the such products in a, maybe like a million tons per year. Okay, so that is the, the role of chemical engineers. So some. Some people may wonder, what is the difference between chemical engineer and chemistry? So, uh, for chemists or chemistry, we look at the chemical reaction at the molecular scale. So most of the work will be done in the laboratories, and but for chemical engineer, we will take the information that chemists and chemistry find out and try to scale it up to a larger scale. So to scale it up. Uh, to a larger scale, we need to understand the chemical reaction processes, and then we need to know about the reactor that convert the raw materials into our products, and then we need to transfer our materials from point A to point B uh, through the pipe uh, using valve, or compressor, or pump, and then we need to control the process using a process control system, and finally, uh, we need to. Learn about the separation process that can separate our raw materials between our raw materials and our products. So that's pretty much our role in as a chemical engineer. So most I and at currently uh, chemical engineers uh, do work in petroleum and petrochemical industries. So. For this kind of industry, it start with the upstream process, which is the offshore drilling to like uh, explore and find oil and gas underground, and then we take it up on ground and send it to process. So for the midstream, we process the crude oil uh, through the oil refinery to get like a benzene or uh, like uh, diesel oil, and we also do the gas separation plant to uh, get the naphtha or olefin or methane. And then we send it to petrochemical complex to produce like a various monomer and polymer to be used in the chemical industry. So, so that's our main employer. Okay. So, but the career path for chemical engineers varies. It goes into different fields of industries. So, like I mentioned. Uh, The main employer will be in petrochemical industry. So the producer of olefins, aromatics, uh, monomers, and plastic. You can see various companies that hire chemical engineers these days. Uh, it's like Thai Oil, like uh, PTTGC, SCG Chemical, Dow Chemical. So uh, prominent player in Thai industries. And for petroleum industries, uh, we have like a like a oil and gas uh, exploration and production, such as PDTEP or Chevron. Or for the international corporations such as Chalamberger and Halliburton, uh, we also have like a several companies that have a, a oil distillation, a crude oil distillation uh, plant or gas separation plants such as PTT or Bangjak or Thai Oil or ESO or Star Petroleum. So those are the traditional career paths for chemical engineers. But for uh, CHPE or 
chemical and process engineering, we can go further. Uh, we can go work in the company that deals with alternative energy, such as the producer of biodiesel, green diesel, or bioethanol, as well as solar cells and batteries. So you can see like a GGC is a global green chemical, Patum oil, GAF oil, or like an energy absolute. Or we can also work in the biochemical industry, which produce the chemicals from the plant-based raw materials. Uh, or we can do a biomass conversion, convert into like a biogas, such as methane. So this like could be a career path for our CHPE graduates. But chemical engineering also work in various fields that you experience in everyday life, such as paper industry, food and beverages, consumer products, pharmaceuticals and cosmetics, electronics, fabrics, and packaging. And that's not even all. So there's more. We can work in the chemical plants, or like the one that makes like paints for the house, industrial gases, uh, construction materials, or even car parts. So you can see that chemical engineering has a role in the products that we experience in everyday life. So it's such a vast career path for our CHPE graduates. So next, we want to talk about the CHPE program. So CHPE program is managed and operated by the Department of Chemical Engineering. That is separate from the International School of Engineering. Uh, and our chemical engineering department is like ranked the best chemical engineering program in Thailand since forever, and probably in top five in Southeast Asia by QS World Rankings. And our department has been accredited by Thailand Accredi Accreditation Board of Chemical Engineering Education for academic year 2020 to 2025, okay? And this program actually has been created uh, in response to a 20-year 20, 20 national strategic plan by the Thai government that elevates the BCG economy. Uh, I will talk about BCG economy to a level of national agenda, okay? So the BCG economy, B stands for bio. Bio economy is the production and conversion of uh, products from a renewable biological source such as plants, okay? For C, it stands for circular economy. So for, for this, we try to extend the life cycle of products by reducing waste or create a, a different use of the same products. And G stands for green economy. So we try to reduce uh, environmental risk and then design a green process that has like fewer waste, okay? So this uh, BCG economy model actually fits in very well with chemical engineering departments. So we do a lot of uh, research and work to involve the BCG economy already, but so we don't have the program that dedicate to uh, student with expertise in BCG economy. That's why we created the CHPE program. Okay. So why should you choose to join us uh, for the CHPE program. So the CHPE program, the curriculum structure has been designed to fulfill the requirement by the Council of Engineers of Thailand. That's why our CHPE graduates would be able to apply and obtain for the professional engineering license in chemical engineering discipline. And this is the only international engineering program at Chulalongkorn University that you can do, okay? Uh, and Next, uh, the CHPE curriculum structure has been designed to allow our students some flexibility to do a, what we call a cooperative internship. So that's mean a six month long internship instead of a typical two month with industries. Or we can do a one semester exchange program without having to alter their study plan. I'll show you when you can do the foreign exchange program later. And since our teaching will be in English, and our uh, faculty member, most of them are Thai. So we try to keep a quality control by half uh, our in CHPE instructors undergo an assessment of their English skill by the Chulalongkorn University Language Institute instructor who are native speakers. They will evaluate us in aspects of pronunciation, fluency, and communication, communication strategies, okay? Only the instructor who passed the assessment will be allowed to teach our core courses. And we also provide you a textbook and the associated learning platform for free.
for during the four-year program. Okay, so seems like a good idea to join our CHP program. So next, let's talk about our CHP curriculum. In general, it's a four-year program with 144 credits. So divided the credits into four groups. The first group is the general education, 30 credits for that, and then the another 21 credits for basic math, mathematics and science, which is calculus, physics, and chemistry mostly, okay? And then we have 87 credits for the engineering core course. So we have like some basic engineering, which suggests drawings, uh, computer programming, uh, mechanics, stuff like that. And we also have a chemical engineering core courses. That's for what chemical engineer know. So we still, we are still chemical engineer. So we learn about what chemical engineering actually do, okay? So we do like a reactor design, uh, distillation column design, process control, something like that. But the extra special thing for our CHP program is we have a few elective course, okay? So there are eight subjects that you can choose uh, by choosing your field of study. Uh, you will choose your field of study at the end of your first year before you start the second year. So we have two fields of study for you to choose. First is the bioprocess engineering, deals with the process that use like a, a renewable biolog biological raw materials. And the second field of study is the sustainable energy. So that's what we do with al alternative energy uh, or sustainability. So you can choose between these two, and then you will choose your elective courses based on the field of your choosing. So the first year, uh, it'll tip be typical for engineers. So you learn, uh, uh, you take like calculus, you take physics, you take chemistry, uh, some English, and then uh, for the second year, you start to have more uh, chemical engineering courses. And you can see that the fourth semester, you have the few compulsory course, which is the course that's required when you choose your field of study, okay? And for third year, you can see that a lot of chemical engineering courses. So that's going to like be the, the thick of it, okay? And then the summer of the, after you finish the sixth semester, is the summer semester that you have to go to do an internship, okay? That is required by the Faculty of Engineering for all engineering students to, to do at least two months of internship, okay? But for our program, you can choose to do two months or you can do six months. So six months, that will just go into the seventh semester, which is the first semester of the fourth year. So you can see that all the courses in the seventh semester are all elective courses. That's by design. So we designed the curriculum so that you can go to like a six month long internship or you can do the foreign student exchange program in the seventh semester. That will not affect the overall time that you spend in our program. So still graduate within four years, okay? So that's pretty much the, our curriculum detail. So uh, let me show you some elective courses. We have elective course in bioprocess engineering and sustainable energy but we also have the common elective course for either field can choose, okay? So each field, you have like compuls three compulsory courses, uh, and then you have like a, some elective courses you can choose. So remember, so you, you need to do three like a compulsory courses and five elective courses. But actually the five, like a free kind of free elective course, you can choose from your own field, or you can choose it from a different field. For example, this is the, these are the courses for sustainable energy field, okay? So there are three compulsories and some elective courses you can choose from. Either, a student from either field can choose the elective course. So they can, each, they can also choose the compulsory course from another field as well if they are so interested. And the common elective courses, you can see that there are like uh, special topics in chemical engineering. That's when, like in, in case that we have a new, new subject that is not 
is not in the curriculum yet, or maybe the special topics that some professor from that foreign professor that wants to come and teach at our program, you can put it in as special topics. And for cooperative study, that's when you go to do a cooperative internship for six months, and you can transfer the credits back, and then it will be like you study your fourth year with us. Okay? And the last one is independent study. That is when uh, you go abroad and do the foreign exchange program. You can transfer some credits back in case that subject is not in our curriculum, transfer it back as independent study. So this is to accommodate uh, your credit requirements and so that you will graduate within four years. Okay. Next, the uh, different facilities. So our facility was in the, in the Faculty of Engineering in the uh, Building 4 on the 10th floor. Okay? So we will have like a, a library but that we convert into like more like a student lounge and co-working space. We also have a small meeting rooms that they can do a discussion, a presentation to our, uh, our lecturers. And we also have a, a classroom there that was uh, revamped it. And then we have a typical like uh, chemical engineering laboratories that you can do the lab in maybe in the, I think it's in the third year of that study. So next, we'll talk more about stuff that you might be looking to find out, okay? So the admission requirements and then the tuition fee. So for the admission requirements, we only uh, do the, Sub, you can submit the test score. We don't do portfolio, okay? So you submit the test score in three fields. So English, which accounts for 20% of the total score, and then mathematics, 30% of the total score, and science, 50% of the total score. So once you submit all the test score, we will start to do the ranking for all the applicants, okay? Uh, the, the applicants with, uh, who pass the minimum score threshold will be called for an interview. Okay, uh, during the interview, students will be uh, scored and they will pass the interview. The interview will be like pass or fail. So if you uh, get uh, at least 50% of the total interview score, you get a pass. But don't worry, uh, the interview is not that serious. So we want to check your communication skill. And I think for the previous batch of our applicants, everybody passed. So for the English test score, you can do like a TOEFL, you can do IELTS, you can do CUTEP. Actually, the, all this information you can fi find out on our website, which I will show you the address at the end of our, my presentation. So for, for mathematics, you have a various score that you can submit. You can submit the scores from various uh, institutes or various sources. We will select the one that gives you the best ranking, okay? So for science, uh, you can do uh, CUATS or ACT science. That's the, the popular one right now, okay? And this is the photo of our first batch of the CHPE students. So they, started, they just started their semester in August, okay? So we do orientation in July to tell them about how to register and stuff. And then in August, we bring them to meet their advisors and then I'll take them on a campus tour at Jolongkorn University to tell them where everything are, okay? And you'll get to meet uh, one of our like CHPE students in a few minutes. So uh, the statistics, we have 28 students in the first year. So 20 of them are male and eight of them are female. And the 20 of them are from the typical Thai program, uh, the high school program, and six of them came from the Thai school with the English program, and two come from international program. Okay. And then our CHP students actually participate in many, many extracurricular activities. So they do freshman camp for at Faculty of Engineering, and you could do the Aussie Chulalongkorn University freshman activities. And we, they participate in a lot of sports. You can see like football, basketball, there's like badminton, uh, table tennis. Yeah. So that's, you will meet one of them right there, right here, okay? So the tuition fee, okay? The tuition fee, there are two components of it. So one is a tuition fee of 25,500 uh, baht. That will be paid to the Jilang Kwan University. And then the program fee of about 84,000 baht paid to our program for a Thai student. For a foreign student, it's a little bit more expensive. It's 
138,000 baht. But don't worry, we have scholarship, okay? For Thai students, we have the Thai uh, full ride scholarship. For the top two rank, number one and number two of each class, you get 100% waiver of the program fees. And for rank three and six, you get 50% waiver of the program fee. But we also have scholarship for non-Thai students. So for if you're not Thai, you want to apply for our scholarship, there are four scholarships available each year. Okay? The scholarship will be for four years of study, and that will cover the tuition fees, the program fees, the health insurances, and two one-way plane tickets between your home country and Bangkok. But the requirement is that the scholarship recipients must maintain a GPEX of at least 2.75 for the whole duration of their study. So this is the key dates for the admission for academic year 2023, okay? For Thai students, the early admission round, we're gonna take in, admit 40 students, starts in November 25th to the December 22nd of this year. So the second round will take the leftover or rollover number plus five students. That will begin in February 21st to March 28, 2023. For the non-Thai student, the first round starts a little bit later, starts on December 21st until February 26th of next year, or February 6th of next year. So we admit up to 10 students. So if we need more, we can open a second round. Okay. And this is how you contact us. Okay. I encourage you to email us at chv at jula.ac.th, or you can visit our website at chem.eng.th chula.ac.th or you can scan the QR code on the left hand side that will bring you to the Department of Chemical Engineering website as well or you can uh, look inside at, on our Facebook at facebook.com slash chemncu and you can this are all the communication channels you can contact us okay so that concludes our my presentation now I want to introduce you to uh, our CHP students Mr. Ekanan Okit so uh, let's talk about, tell us about your background before you join our CHP program. Okay, so I was a Sacred Heart Convent School student. I learned until grade 10 and I took GED. And then I saw the CHP PE program, which is really interesting, so I applied to here. Okay, so w when do you hear or where do you hear about our CHP program? I heard it from Ignite by On Demand. Oh, so it's a Turing school. Yes. Right? And then what attracts you to our CHP program? So I, want, I wanted to learn engineering, so I was not sure what to learn. And chemical engineering itself is already very interesting. And Adjula is like the best in the country, so of course. But also that I can get to choose to learn sustainable energy, which is the one that really attracts me. And also I'll get to uh, earn the professional engineering license. That's like the best part of it. Yeah, so the engineering license uh, is the license that I think in the future they might enforce that the engineering, uh, that engineers that work in a, a chemical plant would have to have one before you can work there, okay? Uh, but you say like you have, in, have an inclination to choose all, uh, sustainable energy over bioprocess. Is, is there anything, re any reason behind that? Um, yeah. For me, um, I chose <laughs> engineering because I don't like bio at first. <laughs> like oh, that, okay. like the first. Yes, a lot, a lot of engineering <laughs> students that doesn't like biology. And so. also, I think sustainable energy will have a very long way to go. Oh, cool! And so, uh, let's talk about. So you just started in August, right? Yep. So, uh, let's talk about the impression of the program so far. Yeah. Wow. So for the past about three months, it has been really amazing. Uh, in class and also outside the class, it has been a really amazing experience for me. So I see that you play basketball in one of the photos that in our presentation. Yes, right? I did, and so, it was really fun. So, but like your friends also in partic participate in a lot of sports as well, yes. right? Yes, um, football, uh, table tennis, uh, badminton, and also, yeah, a lot more. Yes, like quite like quite different for for something <laughs> called chemical exactly. genius. So let me say that. Okay. Uh, so uh, why don't you just like uh, maybe invite uh, your junior or other students who are watching this 
to come and apply to our CSP program. So yes. um, to grade 12 students, uh, um, I would like to say chemical engineering CHPE would be a great place for you. Uh, it has been only three months for me, but I really like it here. So I'm sure you guys will do too. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much wrap it up for our CHP presentation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.